welcome back to my channel. Do you want to know what books by black authors are coming out this year? Well, you're in luck because I have my 24 anticipated reads for 2004. So there's a lot of lists out there and I wanted to wait until the dust settled before I listed my top books for 2024 because I don't want this video to be super long. I have divided the video into two parts. At the end of this video, I'm going to share more anticipated books that have already been published. First, we have When I Think of You by Maya Ariel, which is a contemporary romance novel set in Hollywood. And this is a second chance romance. And it is the debut model. It is the debut novel by Maya Ariel. The female character is a receptionist for a film studio. And then we have Danny Prescott. He is a hotshot director who is a blast from her past. And I'm trying to find out if they're going to rekindle their romance from college and I really love a novel with the old school song title so this was giving. Next we have The Poisons We Drink by Bethany Baptiste, a young adult fantasy novel that I added just based on this cover. I mean look at her. She's beautiful. A Run at Love is by T Tony Shiloh, a romance Christian fiction. This book is based in the horse racing world in Kentucky. So you already know we're at the Kentucky Derby and it looks like her horse might win the big one. And so she starts getting a lot of attention from the paparazzi and then they start digging into her past and find out that she's a transracial adoptee. Basically, her family is not black. Her friend, the family that adopted her rather, is not black. Her friend Piper is a horse trainer and helps her train horses, trained her horse to the victory. Next, we have Thirsty by Jasmine Hammond, a young adult contemporary LGBT read. So the summer before college, Blake Brenner and her girlfriend Ella have joined this mysterious but exclusive sorority. Ella's acceptance is a short thing because she's a daughter of an alumni, but Blake, however, she got some stuff that she got to prove and she develops a little bit of a drinking problem and so we have to see whether she decides if she's going to go the extra mile and prove herself in this process to be in this sorority the seven 10 split is by Carmen Lee. And so the main characters are Ava Williams. She's a teacher. And then we have pro bowler Grace Jones and they both have a past and somehow they end up teaching at the same school. So they shared a kiss when they were young and nobody spoke anything of it. So now that they're older, Ava is holding this grudge and uh, I guess she wants some type of closure. And the principal has greenlit this bowling team that Ava has been trying to bring to the school for years. And the principal put Grace in charge of it. So I'm thinking this is gonna be an enemies to lover trope with 288 pages. This book comes out May 28th of 2024. A Little Kiss in Between Friends is Shanice C. Higgins, a movie producer, a mu music producer rather, on the rise. And uh, she does these sick beats and she fools around with films. And so now there's a problem with her friend and her latest crush. Her friend's name is Juicy and the issue is between Juicy and her latest crush. We're trying to figure out if the two are going to come together, like how big of an issue this crush is going to be between Sin and Juicy's relationship. This book is set to release on April 26th of 2024. None of Us Knows by Alyssa Cole. This book is a thriller, mystery, horror, and suspense. So we got 352 pages of horror and suspense. Uh, from Alyssa Cole. This is a very thick book for you baby readers out there. Kendra Nash, she derailed her career as recently she was given a second chance as a caregiver for this historic house in the middle of the Hudson River. I didn't even know there was an island that a house could be built on in the middle of the Hudson River. But next we have Mercer by Dre Gray Huffington is a romance that is 432 pages. So a really, really thick book for you baby readers. And the bookstagram girlies are going crazy about this book. And so I had FOMO and I want to see what they be talking about. This is the fourth installment of the series and it releases on April 23rd. Next we have Tosh McCoy's contemporary romance novel, The Good Ones Are Taken. 
it is a romantic comedy and for two weddings she has to be the maid of honor in so maggie goes online to find a date and we take 304 pages for maggie to find love online when it might just be right in front of her face Next, we have Out of Office by A.H. Cunningham. This is a contemporary romance that's based in Panama. The main character, Genevieve, opens a hotel chain in the country and she's on her way to a promotion, but she decides to enjoy the country and take some time off and, and she ends up getting familiar with the dri her driver. And so the main character, he leans into life, though, the life part of the work-life balance. And we find out that this may be rubbing off on Genevieve. So the two, they live continents apart, but after a two week fling, we find out they might just come together. Missing White Woman by Kelly Garrett. Uh, we have Brianna and her new boyfriend. They're trying to have this romantic getaway that he plans and makes all the arrangements and things start going left when a dead body is found in the foyer of their four story luxury row house that Ty rents for them. And Ty is nowhere to be found, girl. I had to put this book on my list because I read Like a Sister by the same author and this author had me guessing every step of the way and it was a book club read and everyone had something to say about it. This book comes out April 30th and it's 336 pages. Blood at the Root is Ladarian Williams and this is a young adult fantasy novel and the moment that I read that this book was a HBCU for black fantasy i put it on the list put it on the list make sure you guys stay tuned to part two because i didn't want to make this video super long so i divided it into two parts next you're going to find some of my anticipated reads that have already been published and if you've made it this far in this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment to this video and don't forget to share this content with another fellow baby reader. And until next time, bye. Hi, Wait a minute. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Hi. We have Perk and Red. What it do? Plaza. Two guys who from. You. You. Oh, oh.